Wearing combat boots during nursing school. Back when I was in nursing school, we were supposed to wear black, non-porous, closed-toed footwear with non-skid soles for our clinical rotations that weren't Crocs. Most of my fellow female students wore classic nursing clogs like Dasco's and Sanitas. I tried wearing clogs like this in the past and had rolled my ankles too many times to recall, so I decided to not go that route for shoes. I'm a military spouse, a vet myself, and have aforementioned shitty ankles, so my footwear of choice was a pair of black leather tactical combat boots. As a show of support. And to make sure I always looked sharp at clinical. My hubby always shined up and edge dressed my boots every evening before clinical the next morning. The boots always looked professional, they were comfy as hell, I could bump my toes into beds without breaking a toe, and I could wear them all day without having back pain, foot pain, or rolling an ankle. The same could not be said for my classmates wearing more traditional shoes like clogs. During the first week of my first semester, I had an old school nurse as my clinical instructor. I say old school because she believed female nurses should still be wearing crisp white uniforms with the stupid starched hats and that our profession lost prestige when we transitioned to scrubs. This instructor got such a bee in her bonnet about my boots and decided that my boots were out of regulation that she threatened to take it up to the director and have me tossed from clinical thus failing the program. There was nothing in the handbook specifically stating I couldn't wear my boots since it just stated footwear which was black, well maintained non-skid and non-porous check 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 furthermore the pair of boots that i wore were meant to be worn by emts so they were waterproof bloodborne pathogen resistant puncture proof oil proof non-skid and had reinforced toes they were just as expensive as donsco clogs and could handle lots more abuse i knew i was in the clear and so i decided to keep on wearing them the day after the instructor commented on the inappropriateness of my boots, she did a uniform slash shoe inspection to make sure we were appropriately attired. I, of course, was wearing my nicely polished combat boots. She failed me for the day based on my boots, so I politely objected, stating that my boots fell within the definitions of acceptable footwear in the handbook. She literally marched me to the director's office like I was kid caught stealing cookies and demanded I get tossed for the boots failure to follow program rules, and disrespect because I objected to her failing me. The program director, upon further close reading of the program regs, determined there was nothing that was wrong with the boots, they adhered to the standards set forth by the program, and that they were honestly safer than most of the shoes the other students were wearing because they were waterproof, puncture-proof, non-skid and had reinforced toes. She rescinded my failure and allowed me back in clinical. After that, I heard not a peep about my boots from any of the faculty the rest of my program. Fast forward to graduation. I had been my wearing combat boots since I started and had no intention of stopping, especially since many of the vets that I cared for during clinical always reacted positively to them. Our nursing pinning ceremony. The event where we receive our nursing school pins and are officially recognized as nurses. Has an all-white dress code. White uniforms, starched white hats, white closed-toed footwear. The word footwear is key, the dress code did not state shoes specifically, and I knew this. Same witchy old bat nurse sees me in the hall and makes it a point to tell me I'll have to get some real white nursing shoes to wear to pinning since I can't obviously wear my black combat boots because we needed to have white footwear. I politely smiled, nodded, said that I'd have white footwear, and went on my merry way and then wore the all-white Doc Martin combat boots my infantryman husband bought me as a graduation gift to pinning. The instructor stopped me after the ceremony and complimented me on actually getting nursing shoes, at which point I pulled up the leg of my white scrubs and showed her my boots. The look on her face was priceless. TLDR Nursing instructor tries to fail me for wearing combat boots, nursing director okays it, I wear black combat boots the whole program. Same instructor tells me to wear white nursing shoes for the pinning ceremony, I wear white combat boots instead. Edit. So this post kinda blew up, and a lot of people are asking what kind of boots I wear. I wear ATAC 2.08 inch defenders by 5.11. You can get them directly from 5.11, 
or at Gauls. Thank you for all the love. Now to the comments. When healthcare is a war against disease, combat boots are the way to go. TBF I don't see the reason not to use them on certain environments where people is bound to burn out their footwear. Typically, it's weight. Boots tend to weigh much more than standards shoes, so, if you're on your feet all day you might prefer to wear light footwear as to avoid getting as tired. I could see if you were wearing Birkenstocks or some shit, but to complain about shoes that were actually better than what everyone else was wearing is shitty. OP replied. Oh hell no. No offense to beer clubbers, I wouldn't wear those even if I had the option. I am too much of a klutz. The way your story puts it, combat boots seem better than regular nursing shoes. Just a suggestion to spite your instructor, recommend changing the shoe recommended at your hospital to combat boots. I opened up malicious compliance and accidentally learned how cool boots are. OP replied. There are some pretty awesome choices out there, especially if you're on your feet for extended periods. Glad to help on it today I learned. I used to love my boots back in my days as kitchen staff. I am now currently a nurse. What brands would you suggest? My last pair was through shoes for cruise and were discontinued. They were steel toe, non-slip, water slash oil resistant, and had a steel shank to prevent rolling. I really hate people in the we have always done it this way camp. These are the most dangerous words in healthcare. Good for you for showing her up. In response to but we've always done it this way, here is a story to use to explain why that is as stupid as a cage of monkeys. Recently, a story has been circulating on the internet that can help to explain this phenomenon. It is a much simplified report of research performed in the 1960s on a group of monkeys by G.R. Stevenson, start with a cage containing five monkeys. Inside the cage, hang a banana on a string and place a set of stairs under the banana. Before long, a monkey will go to the stairs and climb toward the banana. As soon as he touches the stairs, researchers spray all the other monkeys with cold water. After a while, another monkey makes an attempt with the same result. All the other monkeys are sprayed with cold water. Pretty soon, when another monkey tries to climb the stairs, the other monkeys will try to prevent it. Now, put the cold water away. Remove one monkey from the cage and replace it with a new one. The new monkey sees the banana and attempts to climb the stairs. To his shock, all the other monkeys assault him. After another attempt and attack, he knows that if he tries to climb the stairs he will be assaulted. Next remove another of the original five monkeys and replace it with a new one. The newcomer goes to the stairs and is attacked. The previous newcomer takes part in the punishment with enthusiasm, because he is now part of the team and has learned the rules. Now, the monkeys that are beating him up have no idea why they were not permitted to climb the stairs. Neither do they know why they are participating in the beating of the newest monkey. Finally, having replaced all of the original monkeys, None of the remaining monkeys will have ever been sprayed with cold water. Nevertheless, not one of the monkeys will try to climb the stairs for the banana. If they could talk, they would simply say, we've always done it that way. OP replied. I've told that story many times. And more than a few in nursing school. It's also a great explanation as to why nurses eat their young and are just terrible to brand new nurses. Upvote for the Doc Martens. My combat boots died a while back, I left 20 years ago. I wear my docs all the time though. Even though I am over 50 I couldn't resist the oxblood ones like I had in my youth, the only concession is that they are 10 whole ones and not 14. I have sworn never to buy any shoe or boot other than docs. I bought mine when I finished high school, ready for college and lots of walking. I failed at wearing them in though. Walked 5 miles to and from college every day after barely any wearing in. My feet blistered like hell, but those boots are the most comfortable things I have ever worn. Learned my lesson when I bought dock shoes, I normally hate shoes, but these were sparkly gold, and I simply couldn't resist.
I've known people who've had docs for 10 plus years, and they're still going strong. I dunno I've heard that the new docks are a little flimsy, and not very well suited to colder weather. After wearing boots for so long in the military, my feet are accustomed to them to the point where most everything else is uncomfortable. My current job is business casual and most people wear loafers. I'm either in a pair of black Chippewa 7 inch boots or a pair of brown iron rangers. Worn in boots are just so much more comfortable than the Skechers bullshit they wear. I bought second hand combat boots from the Algerian war in the 70s. I live in France so still finding these in a good condition isn't that uncommon. And I've never went back. Those things are ducking tanks, they'll take any abuse I've thrown at them and they feel so comfortable. My dad told me during the war, they used to roll them under truck tires to break em in when they received new pairs, as they were hard as bricks for the first few weeks. I've heard of wrapping them in barbed wire and dragging them behind your truck for a while too, that and the hot shower method.